the ongoing geopolitical concerns that investors have around the world. Uh, it is uh, still on everyone's mind uh, what's going to happen with U.S. China. I think that's the biggest question mark uh, as we continue to see a lot of the bifurcation and the strained relationships continuing be between the U.S. and the China, uh, and particularly around Taiwan. What's going to happen with Taiwan? Uh, is there going to be a potential war between China and the U.S. with regards to Taiwan? I think that's a very uh, complex and complicated question that's on people's minds and could be a black swan event uh, in the future, particularly uh, around the fact that Taiwan is uh, dominating in all of the semiconductors. And when we think about what's happening and one of the biggest trends that we're seeing out there with AI, uh, it is all driven by the semiconductor industry. And when you think about the fact that Taiwan clearly dominates today in the semiconductor industry, particularly around the most sophisticated chips, 90% of the world's supply is from Taiwan. So that is not to be underestimated. It's a very complicated um, geopolitical tension and concern that we're still monitoring. And it's something that we have to keep top of mind over the next several years ahead. How do you think through the worst case scenarios here and how to speak to your clients, to investors around what could go wrong? As you think about this ongoing bifurcation between the United States and China, it actually represents different opportunities for our clients to position themselves. So today, emerging markets are trading around a 40% discount to developed markets. We think there's more upside in emerging markets in the coming years ahead, particularly given that we think U.S. dollar strength has peaked. Um, there could be some very interesting opportunities in emerging markets.